Hello, thanks for joining me. I've just driven my larder on its longest ever journey. I've just driven from Buckinghamshire to here, to Darlington. It's the IFA Club's um, weekend. We're going to drive all around the North East and visit a few attractions. So as you can see, we have a Trabant, a Wartburg, and if I pan round here, we have another Wartburg and Darlington North Road Station, which is the head of Steam Museum. So we're going to have a look around here, and then um, we're going to get in the car, drive further north, and um, there'll be a few more videos from this weekend. Lots of... Um, Lots of Wartburgs, a few more Trabants, and maybe another Larder. But now, let's go and see Head of Steam Museum. We pay to come into the Head of Steam Museum, so we're going to have a little look around. This is an old, the old Darlington North Road station. Here's the ticket offices. Come through here. Now, this is where we should see some interesting stuff. Well, as we get to here, here we have... A steam loco. Okay. But what we're going to do, we'll have a proper look when we get around there. Let's have a look at what there is on this side. So if we go in here, we actually have a look inside the booking office. So that's where I was a moment ago. So you can imagine all the booking clerks sitting here, making their bookings, and when people would have sent parcels by rail, you can see they would have been kept here. So this shows us what the station would have looked like. You can see the racks over there full of little Edmonton tickets you get. You quite often get them when you go on Heritage Railways and some miniature railways do them. This is a great local. I'd love to see this running again. Um, sounds like a train has just pulled into the station because it is still a functioning station. So let's go and have a quick look at that. Sorry to rush this, but yeah, there's a class 156. Let's go and see that and then we'll do the museum properly. So out here. They're going to think I'm running to catch this train, but I'm not. So I'm outside now, don't need to wear the mask. So you can see on the other side of the Palisade fence is a class 156, so that will be going to Bishop's Auckland. And um, through there, there's the overall roof of the station, so I'll just let you have a look at that. Through the... I feel a bit like I'm <laughs> in a prison, although if it is a prison, it's a nice prison. So. It's 156440. I think it's about to go. So as 156440 goes on up towards Bishop's Auckland, we're going to have a look around the site. So we will go in there, that's where the steam engines are. If we have a look down here though, on what was obviously once quite a big island platform, we can see there's a couple of diesel locos there. Um, so we'll go and have a look at them. There's Darlington Railway Preservation Society building, which I don't think is open today, so I'm not sure if it is actually open, so ever. Um, so we probably won't be going in there today, but we can have a look. So there's some wagons. So if you wanted to access Darlington North Road Station, you'd have to come down this path and come up here into the museum. Let's just, uh, I think we can go down here. I don't normally go walking off the end of the platform ramps onto track. This is a sharp bit of standard gauge track just here. So let's have a look. Here we have two diesel locos. I don't know the identity of these, so if anyone does and wants to comment and tell me, I'll be very grateful, and then I can look them up in my book and pick them off. So two little industrial diesel locos. And there's some tank wagons over there. I'm going to head back to get on the station platform, and uh, we'll go and have a look around the museum. There's one other thing. I wanted to show you um, on this side before we go in, so back onto the platform, let's go back into the head of steam and see some steam locomotives. I'm in the men's toilets, I can't use these ones though because they are just for show, there's a barrier to stop you going in, there's some more modern toilets next door, but I quite like these urinals, see how you effectively do a wee into one basin and um, you'd all stood around. Then. So this one's like a full 
circle for six men to use. Those ones up to three men could use. And then there's the other conventional toilets. It's, it reminds me a bit though, as I drove up here, we stopped at services and there weren't urinals like this, but there was a sink like this where you all stood around and washed your hands and all the water went into the same bowl. So finishing with the toilets, let's go and have a look at some steam locomotives. So there's number 901, which we'll get a look at from the other side. Go around here. So this is the old North Road station, and as we saw earlier, trains do still stop here, which is quite nice. There's a replica of locomotion, the loco that um, a lot of people do associate with Darlington. So we have um, various other exhibits to have a look at. We've got an exhibition room here of um, children's um, stories and to do with railways such as Tom's Tank Engine, Harry Potter because of course it has railways in it and various other things. Paddington Bear has railways in it so it tells you all about children's stories and railways in that room. We have some quite nice modern model North Eastern locomotives. And here's an old northeastern carriage body from about 1865. Let's have a look inside. Imagine travelling like this. Windows are quite small. And um, they say modern trains today so aren't very comfortable. That really doesn't look comfortable. Let's go through here and um, we have a look at 901. We can actually have a look at the cab. So here we have a big northeastern freight locomotive, it's an 080, and this is the cab. And now we're going to go and see some older locomotives as we walk through the old station hall. There's various other exhibits to have a look at as we go, all sorts telling the story of railways, Darlington and the area. Here we have a lathe. There must have been literally hundreds of lathes in Darlington once. Here we have locomotive 1463. So this is a northeastern railway locomotive. She was built here at Darlington in 1885, as we can see on the works plate. There's a bridge here, and we've got there in a moment, and have a look down on the, on the locos. So here we have a Locos kind of got older, well, locomotion technically is the newest, even though it's an old design. And we had 901, we've now got this one. And look at this, this is a really interesting loco, something quite different, but showing the story of earlier locomotives. It's called Derwent. And um, it's actually got two tenders. It's got a tender there for water, and it's got a tender there for coal. So what would have happened is the driver would have stood here, see the cylinders, driver would have stood here, water came from here, but the fireman would have been at the front of the locomotive, here, this is where the coal would have been in this tender, and he would have put the coal in through there, so that's really quite different and unusual. I've not seen a local like that before. It's a little bit like a garret, although the difference is with a garret, the section that carries the boiler has no wheels, and they have a power bogey here and here. So with this you've got the two tenders, which is like a garret, but it's not like a garret in that the wheels are actually on the loco himself. And then here we have a coal wagon. More exhibits telling the story of railways in the area. But just around here, there's quite a nice model railway. The trains aren't going, but it shows the area. So down here, this is Shildon. So this is the old Stockton to Darlington Railway. See locomotives similar to locomotion. At this end, there's an incline, which would have been a rope-worked incline. We're now going to make our way along the railway, having a look at things as we go. So there's a double-track section. Some trains would have still been horse and gravity. So if you look here, you can see a horse pulling a, a guard's van up the hill, and that train there looks like it's ride going down the hill. And just at the back, there is a horse enjoying the ride down before working hard up again. We get to here. This is the site of where we are today, the site of the present North Road station, with a similar locomotive to what we saw over there going past. 
and there's the Skuin Bridge or Skuin Bridge which is just up the road or up the railway I should say from here. Still there, still carrying trains. Another two trains passing, so it's quite an impressive little model railway this. There's another horse worked train. And then here is Stockton Quay, where all the coal that was brought down would have been transferred to barges. Probably on the River Tees, I would have thought. I think it's River Tees, I'm not entirely sure. If you know, do comment and tell me. What I'm going to do now, though, I promised I'd go up here, didn't I? Then we'll go outside, have a little look around, see which other cars are still here. There might be one or two other things to show you. Now I've got to carry on driving north. So let's go up over the bridge. There's the uh, Staymore Summit marker post, so that line unfortunately is closed, but that would have told you Staymore Summit. I believe it was the highest railway in England, possibly Britain. 1,370 feet above sea level. Which is really nice, big old wooden bridge, wide. The stairs are quite steep. From here though, we get a nice view of the steam locos. really going right up into the loft of the building so once you get up here you don't actually get such a good view of the locos but you get a perfect view of the loft of the building. I'm now going to go outside and uh, we'll see what's going on out the front. I enjoyed my visit to Head of Steam Museum, some interesting locos in there. Now as for my larder it has been joined by a few more Eastern Bloc cars. We have a lineup of Trabants, so um, that's uh, quite exciting. So these Trabants are probably going to be taking part in the um, North East uh, weekend, which the IFA Club is holding around the North East of England. So we're going to drive all around North East of England over the next couple of days. So there'll be more videos from that, but there you go. Here's a nice lineup of Trabants. Um, the white one and the third one in there, the four stroke one, the bright yellow one, that's a two stroke one. And then these two blue Trabants, they're both two strokes, and the Wartburg on the end. In the middle is my larder. So I'm going to get in my larder. We're going to drive north. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Do come and visit the uh, Head of Steam Museum in Darlington from just outside in their car park, which has had a bit of an eastern block invasion. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Are you an influencer now? <laughs>